Today we're checking out Selen Preve London, which is a new event. It's the second event that Selen Preve are doing this year. Of course, they're going to continue to do their other one that they do at Blenheim Palace. This one is at the Royal Hospital Chelsea. The nearest station is Sloane Street. It's a short walk from there. They're promising 12 debuts at this event and they're promising about 50 classic cars. Plus, there's going to be charity stuff going on for uh, the victims of the Ukrainian war as well. So a lot of stuff going on here. We're going to be checking out. This is great weather. It's happening 21st to 23rd of April. So classic stuff like these beauties over here and then crazy new stuff like that thing over there. Let's check out some of these cars and find out what's going on at the Salon Privé London. That's Everati's 964 base Porsche 911 Gulf Signature Edition, which of course is all electric, complete with simulated sound, 500 horsepower, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds, and a 200 mile range. Also on their stand was a fully restored Land Rover with 150 brake horsepower, 300 newton meters, and 60 kilowatt hour battery, plus it had a 125 mile range. Next to the Gulf Porsche is a replica Ford GT40 built with super performance, also electric, uh, and also with officially licensed Golf livery and an elegant little Pagoda Mercedes SL as well. This is Morgan's all new Super 3, making its UK debut actually. It continues the 113 year legacy of building three wheelers, which the company actually started with. It looks like a blast from the past, but it's actually all new. And based on my previous experience driving the previous Morgan three wheeler, I just know it will be a blast to drive as well. Brown Car Guy found a brown Ferrari, a new one, the Sexy Roma, rare that is, but then this is a tailor-made series, one of a kind. This is rather special too, it's the Ferrari Daytona SP3 from the company's Icona series. It's a limited series, the carbon fiber bodied V12 pays tribute to the late 60s and early 70s sport prototipo era. Its styling has hints of the endurance car race cars of the day, such as the P3, P4, etc. Only 599 are to be made and each one cost 2 million euros. Now this is the all new Ferrari 296 GTB making its debut. It's a plug-in hybrid with a V6, a kind of spiritual successor to the Dino. But is it the baby of the range? Well, not quite. It has an outrageous 818 brake horsepower and it will do 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds and actually costs more than the F8 Tributo at £240,000. So you tell me. So now this thing is essentially a ground up recreation of a beloved British Roadster, the classic Austin Healey 100. This was a global debut actually, it's not quite a Resto mod because it's using the same drivetrain as the original, a 3 litre 4 cylinder engine putting out 185 brake horsepower and 195 pounds foot of torque. 
but through a 5-speed transmission. The chassis is stiffened and reinforced and you get modern brakes, but there's no ABS or assisted steering or anything like that. The Healy by Caton, as they call it, will cost about £400,000 each, but you know each one of them is built to a customer specification, so no two will ever be the same. It's sort of a brand new classic in the vein of a Morgan, for example. You know, it's been three years since I first told the story of a British company developing an all-electric classic bodied Ford Mustang. And now, finally, here's the production version of the electric Mustang by Charge Cars. It's based on the 1967 fastback body style. It's sanctioned by Ford with a steel body shell, composite body panels, and a quad motor producing 536 brake horsepower, giving it a 0 to 62 miles per acceleration time of 3.9 seconds. Tell you what, it looks damn good in the metal, but it won't sound like the original though, will it? It's still very modern inside, and frankly, I can't wait to give it a go. Chimera Resto Mods, based not on the Delta Integrale rally car which you see here, but the 037 road cars of the 1980s. The Chimera Automobili from Cuneo in Northern Italy is dubbed the Evo 37. It gets a lot of cred because Miki Biasen, a WRC champion from back in the day and who drove 037s, is actually involved in developing this car. A 2.1 litre four cylinder engine puts out 500 brake horsepower, even though it's based on the original motor. It keeps a Lancia Beta Monte Carlo chassis, but it's strengthened and with carbon fiber body panels instead of fiberglass. They're making 37 of them, obviously, uh, and at a price of nearly half a million euros each.
Now this is interesting, it's kind of the car that never was. It got its public debut at Salon Preve 81 years after it was first conceived. Something of a long lost mystery. Was it ever completed? Was it ever raced? Who made it? How does it connect Alfa Romeo with Ferrari and Porsche? Well, you can find all that out in a new book, which is what this stand was really all about. A new 272 page book titled The Missing Link. It charts the history of this unique but glorious pre-war would-be racing machine. This book is the first from a new publishing house, Progetto 33, which was founded by Stefano Martinoli. Who actually owns this 12C prototypo? Fascinating! Check out those amazing minis behind me and in fact I'm going to walk through a circle of minis right now. There you go, there's more there. So big thumbs up for the first edition of the London edition of the Salon Privé. I think it's been fantastic, the weather certainly helped, but also so did a load of beautiful classic cars and some quite extraordinary and interesting debuts as well. Now a lot of that stuff I've shown you in this video, but some of the videos I've separated out. So some of the uh, main cars such as for example the ProDrive Hunter I've separated out into a separate video. So do go and check those out as well well on here. It's been fantastic to meet so many people today. It's wonderful to be out and about again after the uh, two years of COVID that we've had. Um, there's a Ferrari Dino just hey. running just idling right next to me there. That's what happens at these events. And it's also been great to see people. It's always wonderful when people come up and say hello because they've seen my content and stuff like that. So do do that whenever you can, whenever you see me out and about an event. And I will try to get out to more events this year as well as I'm sure you want to do as well. And so much, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one and I'll just leave you with not just cars, but an image of a helicopter as well. You love these things. A big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co. UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nayajan Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy.